Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Larissa Santos de Lima court and deportation update. So yesterday, Larissa was back in court facing her domestic battery charges. You guys remember when she beat the hell out of Colt? And if you ask Colt or Larissa who started the fight, they both have different versions of what happened. And if you ask me, it really doesn't matter because it looks like the whole thing was a bloody mess. All we know is Larissa was the only one that got charges brought against her. And to be honest, people, if you look at the pictures, well, at least I thought, Larissa should have been in jail. I mean, she, it just looked like she, you know, beat the hell out of this guy. But she has to be the luckiest 90-day fiancé cast member I know. Her charges were reduced from domestic battery to disorderly conduct. Instead, she has to do community service for a program called Justice Court Community. And she's only required to do 48 hours of the program. And she was required to pay a fine. She also has to do six months of a domestic violence counseling in the form of weekly classes. But the most shocking thing, at least in my opinion, is Larissa got absolutely no jail time. And to be honest with you people, this really shocked the hell out of me. All I know is the next time I want to beat the hell out of my husband, instead of watching that program, I almost got away with it, I'm just going to call Larissa. I mean, it is absolutely unbelievable. In fact, the whole thing was kind of mind-boggling, if you ask me. Because according to one of my favorite blogs, SoapDirt.com, when the whole thing was over, Colt actually put his arm around Larissa and told her to please stay out of trouble. So it looks like both parties have made peace with the entire situation and have moved on. In fact, Larissa even brought her new boyfriend, Eric, who she calls Ericy. To court. So even though Larissa's out of the hot water today, doesn't mean she's out of trouble completely. She still has to deal with immigration. And that means she still has to deal with the fact that she's over here on a marriage visa, but not married. And not only is she not married, she has a record. Now granted, having disorderly conduct on your record isn't as harsh as a domestic battery, but it's still there. And that's not a good thing. Of course, I'm speculating. No one actually knows how her immigration case is going to go. Maybe they'll let her swap one husband for another husband. I mean, now that she's dating Eric e, And I must admit, there's a small part of me that really wishes Larissa gets to stay. I mean, she has grown on me like algae. And at this point, I'm thinking, how much can one person take? I mean, isn't having to have sex with Colt punishment enough? Jokes, people. I'm only kidding. These are jokes. I mean, I think it's a joke. So that's all the 90 Day Fiance news I have for you today. So what I want to know in my comments section is, who thinks Larissa will get to stay in the U.S.? And who thinks having sex with Colt was punishment enough? Another joke. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.